Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to properly install NVIDIA graphics drivers which are completely optimized and bloat free. A lot of people just update their drivers using the old fashioned way via the NVIDIA official website or via the GeForce experience which does update your drivers but by default NVIDIA drivers come with a ton of bloatware and we will be getting rid of all that bloatware and make our drivers as much optimized as we can as you guys will see inside of this video. I don't want to take more of your guys time with long intros but 89.7% of you watching my videos are not subscribed and these videos take a lot of time and work to put together so make sure that you guys click that subscribe button. Now with all of that out of the way let's get this video started. So starting off the guide the very first thing that you guys need to do is go down into the description of this video and download the clean nvidia drivers pack by Reknatic. This is really crucial that you guys go ahead and download it right now because once we get started you guys won't be able to download it and therefore won't be able to follow along with me. So pause this video and download this pack right now. Once you guys have downloaded it you guys will need 7zip or winrock to extract it so just go ahead and use either one of those because both of them are free. Also make sure that you guys put this on your desktop for easy navigation. So once you guys have completed all those steps, we are going to be booting into safe mode because that's where we are going to be deleting the previous drivers for a complete and safe removal of them. So in order to boot into safe mode, go down to your start menu and search for run. Go ahead and open it up and once the run bar opens up, type in msconfig. Once you guys type in msconfig, go ahead and click on OK and then go into the boot tab. Inside of here, under boot options, make sure that safe mode is selected and it is set to minimal because we want to quickly do our work and then boot into normal mode once again. So once you guys have made sure that safe mode is checked, hit apply, hit ok and now at this point restart your PC. I'm not going to be restarting because I'm recording but I'm going to restart as soon as I close this recording. So after restarting now you guys should be in safe mode. I couldn't record there therefore I have got all of these screenshots that I will be showing you guys guiding you through each and every step that you guys need to do inside a safe mode. So after you guys reboot you should see a screen like this one which says safe mode on all four of its corners. Therefore it just means that you guys have successfully booted up into safe mode. So once you guys are there go ahead and open up the Nvidia pack that we extracted on our desktop. Once you guys open that go into the DDU folder and open that up. After that, right click on the display driver uninstaller application and run it as admin. Make sure that you guys do this step as an admin, otherwise it might not work properly. After that, this application should open up and then you guys need to click on select device type and select GPU from there. Once you guys have done that, it should automatically select the NVIDIA or AMD but just make sure that you guys select the right one and assuming that you guys are watching this video then you should be on NVIDIA so just go ahead and select that. But after that you guys need to stop because we need to do another crucial step so that we don't boot up again into safe mode but this time boot up into normal mode. So in order to do that, press the Windows key and the R button at the same time which should open up the run bar. Then go ahead and type in msconfig once again and click on OK. Once the msconfig opens up, go into the boot tab and this time make sure that safe boot is unchecked because we don't want to boot up again into safe mode but we want to boot up into normal windows mode. So just go ahead and make sure that this is unchecked and after that hit apply, hit ok and after that you guys need to exit without restart. Make sure that you guys don't restart because we haven't removed the previous drivers yet therefore click on exit without restart. And once you guys do that, simply go ahead and click on clean and restart and then wait for it to complete the process. This can take up some time so be patient about that. And once the process is complete, it should restart your PC and then you should boot up into normal windows mode. I will also provide all of these screenshots inside of the pack for you guys to help you. So once you guys reboot now, you should be in the normal mode and not the safe mode anymore. Your resolution and everything will be messed up but don't panic, we will be fixing up everything inside of this video. So what you need to do next is open up the pack once again and now if you guys want you can delete the DDU folder completely because we don't need that anymore. After that go into the nvclean install folder and right click on the nvclean install application to run it as administrator. Click on yes if it asks and after that this window should open up. It will do its loading but what we want to do is select manually selected driver version and then click show all versions. After that just wait for it to stop loading. So once it stops loading and that green bar disappears as well, click on it to expand it down. On the left is the driver version, then the windows version, after that the windows architecture and then whether the driver is for desktop or notebook. 
and finally DCH or standard version. But what we want to look for is 457.51 driver version because through testing it's the best driver version right now. Then I have Windows 10 so I'm gonna select that. I am on 64 bit which I'm sure most of you guys are on as well and finally I am on a desktop PC so that's what I will be selecting. But if you guys are on a notebook then go ahead and select the notebook one. As for the DCH or standard version, as you guys can see it says DCH no for me. So I will not be using the DCH version and use the standard version. So once you guys have selected your appropriate driver version, go ahead and click on next. Which brings us to this page. All of this that's unchecked is all bloatware which as you guys can see is a lot. You want to leave everything unchecked as it is and click on next. But those of you guys who use the Nvidia GeForce experience to record their gameplay will need to check everything under the GeForce experience components. Just keep in mind that I don't recommend it and instead recommend to record with OBS which I will be making a video very soon soon on the best settings to record for OBS. But once you guys have selected everything that you want, click on next and then it might ask you to select more components, just go ahead and click on yes and click on next again. As for me, I don't want to install GeForce experience, so after making sure that everything is unchecked, click on next and it will start copying the files which can take some time depending on your system and network so be patient about that. After it's done copying all the files, you will get to this page so just follow me from here on. So for the disable installer telemetry and advertising make sure that this is checked unattended express installation check this as well and allow automatic reboot it's optional but since i am recording i want to uncheck it after that perform a clean installation make sure that this is checked as well add hardware support we don't want that so leave it as it is then check show expert tweaks and make sure that all three options under it are checked as well you can pause the video right here and then copy all of these after that click on next and then just wait for it to finish creating an installation package which can take quite some time During the installation, it will ask you guys, would you like to install this software? Just go ahead and check always trust software box and then click on install. After that, it will install the drivers and your screen might blink a couple of times but that's completely normal and then your resolution should be fixed as well. So after that, you can close out of that window and you can close out of this window as well. So once the drivers have been successfully installed, you guys need to go into the clean NVIDIA drivers pack by Regnetic folder. Right click on the unhide silk smoothness reg file made by Adamax, so credit to him. Then click on merge, hit yes and then hit ok. After that you can close out of this and now right click on your desktop and go into the Nvidia control panel. So once the Nvidia control panel opens up, go into the 3D settings and click on adjust image settings with preview. Once you guys are here, click on use my preference emphasizing and set it to performance. After that, click on use the advanced 3D image settings and click on take me there. So once you guys are here, we are going to be changing the global settings but in case that you guys want to set these settings for a specific game, then make sure to watch this video on the top right hand side after watching this one. So now moving on to changing all of these settings, for the image sharpening make sure that this is turned off. For a lot of people who are using it on, I always recommend you guys to turn it off because it can cause a lot of stutters if you are setting it to on. And also for GPU scaling, make sure that this is unchecked. Then click on OK and Ampere Collision, you always want to turn it off. As for the anisotropic filtering, set it to off as well. Then for the NTLSing FX AA, make sure that this one is turned off as well and NTLSing Gamma Correction, this one should be set to off as well. After that, NTLSing mode, make sure that this one is turned off as well. So make sure that all of these settings are turned off. Then moving on to CUDA GPUs, open it down and make sure that your graphics card is selected. Click on OK and then for the DSR factors, just go ahead and make sure that none of these is checked so it's set to off. Then hit OK and then moving down to low latency mode. Now for this one, this is actually an interesting one. So what you guys want to do is if your PC is able to give you guys more FPS than your refresh rate constantly, then make sure to set it to ultra for the maximum results. But if you are experiencing FPS drops and your PC is not able to give you guys a constant FPS above your refresh rate, then you want to set it to on. For example, in my case, I am using a 60 hertz monitor, but my PC gives me more than 60 FPS constantly. Therefore, I'm gonna be setting it to ultra to get the maximum amount of output out of the low latency mode. 
After that, max frame rate, you guys always want to turn it off from here and cap your FPS from inside of the game that you are playing. Because if you guys use this to cap the FPS, then it will introduce a lot of input delay, which we all know is really bad. So after turning it off, click on OK. Then for the OpenGL rendering GPU, just open it down and make sure that your graphics card is selected. Optimize for compute performance, set this to off because we want to be optimizing our games and not other graphical tasks. Then for the power management mode, this one is simple, set it to prefer maximum performance always. Then for the silk smoothness, a lot of people set it to low and others set it to medium. Never ever set it to high, ultra or off, but you can test between both low and medium. For me, I recommend medium, so that's what you should test first. As for the shader cache, go ahead and set it to off. Those of you guys who are using slower hard disk drives can see a lot of FPS boost by simply turning off this feature, so make sure that you guys turn this off. Then for the texture filtering and stropic sample optimizations, set it to off. Texture filtering negative load bias, allow. Texture filtering quality, this is another interesting one. So if you guys have a weaker CPU and a good GPU, then you guys always want to set it to quality or high quality. Because this is going to push your GPU to do its best so that we can have lower CPU usage and higher GPU usage, hence giving you guys more FPS in the games. However, if you guys have an overall good PC and a better GPU and CPU combo, then you guys always want to set it to high performance since that is what will give you guys more FPS on high-end PCs. So simply low end PC, quality or high quality, high end PC, high performance. For me, I set it to quality because I have a medium ish end PC. Then for the texture filtering trilinear optimizations, go ahead and set it to on. Then for the threaded optimization, set it to auto, triple buffering, set it to off, vertical sync. If you guys turn this on, this is going to give you guys a huge input delay, therefore I always recommend to turn this off. Then for the virtual reality pre-rendered frames, this doesn't matter but always set it to one. After you guys have changed all of those settings, make sure to hit apply. After that is done, we are going to be skipping the configure surround phase X because it really doesn't help with FPS. Then for the change resolution, inside of here you guys want to make sure that you are playing on the native resolution or if you guys are using stretch resolutions or custom resolutions then make sure that is selected and always always make sure that you have selected the right refresh rate for your monitor. Once all of that is done, go into the adjust desktop color settings and inside of here I always recommend to use the Nvidia settings inside of the other applications one. And then the digital vibrance, this one is actually optional but if you guys play games like Fortnite and want to have more vibrant colors then I always recommend to set this to 7 that's the sweet spot for me and that's what i always use so yeah that's just personal preference but that's what i use in case you guys want to copy me after that hit apply hit yes and then go into the adjust desktop size and position now for this one you guys always want to set the set a scaling mode to no scaling and then for the perform scaling on some people will only have the display option like me some people will only have the gpu option whereas some people will have both display and gpu options so in case you guys have display option I always highly recommend you guys to use the display one. So just go ahead and select display and then make sure that you check this box override the scaling mode set by games and programs. But in case of those of you guys who only have the GPU option, you can set it to GPU but once you set it to GPU then you guys need to make sure that this box is unchecked. So if you set it to display, check this box. If you set it to GPU, uncheck this box. In my opinion and by testing, display works better than GPU. So if you guys do have the display option, then always set it to that and then check this box. After that, hit apply and your screen might blink, which is completely normal. And after it is applied, go into the adjust video color settings. Now again, use the Nvidia settings, go into advanced and set this to full instead of limited. And that's it for all of the main settings. There is actually another hidden setting that I want to show you guys. So in order to show that, go into the desktop and make sure enable developer settings is checked. This is going to add another section called the developer and under it manage GPU performance counters. By default, it will be on restrict access, but you guys always want to set it to allow access to the GPU performance counters to all users. I'm not going to be doing it right now because I am recording and last time I did it, it completely messed up my whole recording. Therefore, I'm going to be applying this after I am done recording, but I highly recommend you guys to apply this setting right now. After all of those changes have been applied to your NVIDIA control panel, you can close out of this and that's basically it. So yeah guys, that's how you properly install NVIDIA drivers, completely bloat free and well optimized. I know it's tedious, but it will tremendously help you guys with FPS drops and also will boost FPS in games. So yeah guys, if this video helps you guys, then make sure to leave a like down below. It took me a lot of time to make this one, so make sure to show your support. Also, 80 9.7% of you watching my videos are not subscribed 
so make sure to press that subscribe button right now. Make sure that you use code Regnetic in the Fortnite item shop to help support me and the channel or use anyone else's code just make sure to support your favorite creator because making content is not easy. And always make sure to spread positivity and help others whenever you can and with that I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then stay awesome.